Hi, I'm Arlene and I'm back again with another video. Today I am going to be doing a video on the items that I got from Bath and Body Works. This would be items from their five, what is it, five ninety-five? Ooh, y'all, let me get it together. Five ninety-five sale. And, um, I forgot what how much the candles were. 16 something, I think. $10 off, I don't know. But anyway, this is the box. It finally came. Bath and Body Works take forever to mail your items, I tell you. Because it seemed like that sale was a couple of weeks ago. But here we are. We're going to get into it. My gown. Well, Y'all, I got all my sleeping clothes, so my pajamas. This is what y'all getting. I had to do this after work. So y'all getting the after work attire. We got these, the bubble wrap things in here. Oh, some blow up ones and then some big bubble wrap. Let me see, y'all, they box, oh, not their boxes. I think their boxes are a little bit easier to get in. Uh, Victoria's Secret boxes was hard to get in. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna start with the candle. I don't even know, know if they have all my items. They did not. They didn't even put the invoice in here. I thought that's, that was standard. Okay, so I can't even tell y'all the prices. I think I used my 20% off certificate for this. But, yeah, I did. So I think these candles came out to be 13 something. And then the next week, I think they marked them down to 13 something. And you still could have used the 20% if you had it. But. And. No, they did not leave me an invoice. And if anybody knows, I know you used to be able to use your 20% off online and still be able to use your 20% off in store. Let me know if that's still the case. I don't know. So this is Radiant Sky. I can smell it without opening it up. I like this. I like the colorful packaging. I think that is pretty. The rainbow cloud packaging. So the notes in Radiant Sky are rays of sunshine, golden mango, juicy lychee. Ooh. This smells good and juicy. Oh. That's going to be good. Where's the girl, y'all? Okay, so that's what it is. Radiant Sky. Then, uh, what did I do with that? Oh, this is crazy. Got to fight with they. Or is it me? I just ain't got no strength in my hands. Okay, there it goes. My goodness. Okay, so the next one is Among the Clouds, and I like this packaging also. Oh, okay, this one is blue and pink and white, and the other one is blue, pink, yellow, purple. It has more colors in it. Okay. This smells good, too. This smell, this smell like some chewy candy. Like airheads or something like that. So the notes in this is Wildberry Skies with Vanilla Clouds. This is not as fragrant as the Radiant Skies. But it smells good. I hope that it gives off a nice scent. So that is... Among the clouds. 
I know a lot of people have been buying those candles. So y'all let me know how y'all like them. Are they burning well for you guys? Uh-oh, shaking my table, doing too much. Are they burning well for you guys? Are they giving a good throw? Usually I don't have two. Every now and then I get a problem with candles burning, but usually it's the throw. Oh my God, y'all. I almost started a fire in my room when my um power went out. I have a smoke, what you call it, trail up my wall. I tried to wipe it off, but I can still see it. From the strawberry snowflakes candle. That's what I had burning. Y'all, and I fell asleep because I had candles burning when I didn't have power. I messed up my wall. Okay, so this is Cocoa Paradise. Can't really smell it without opening it. I mm. feel like I have to sneeze. Okay. Why did I think this was going to be sweeter? This is giving me that spa hotel type scent. It's not very sweet. It's a bit perfumey. It's a little bit creamy too. So this has salted coconut manoy, sugar neroli, bronze sandalwood. I like it. I just thought it was going to be sweeter. Maybe because it's Cocoa Paradise. I thought it was going to smell more like coconut. Okay. That was a bit of a surprise. Okay, the top is off of here. So I might as well go on and smell it and see what this among the clouds is smelling like. The notes in, on the fragrance mist are the same as the candle. So that's whipped berry skies, whipped vanilla clouds. This smells like it has some citrus in it, even though it's not stating that it does. So it smells like a citrus and a berry with the vanilla. It's quite sweet. And it has a bit of brightness to it. Okay. I like it. It seems like it'll go well with um, springtime scents. And it seems like it will blend well with vanilla, of course. So we'll see. It's another berry, wild berry scent. So this is what the packaging look like. It's really pretty. So I have the cream. And the spray. Oh, I should say the fragrance mist. I am shaking the camera, y'all. Okay, another. Okay, has a top. I was going to say they sent me one without a top. So this is the Golden Mango Lagoon. Now, I've heard people... Um... Praise this one. Ooh, the mango is so good. I smell it. It's a bright, a bright mango. This smells tropical for sure. That mango is smelling so good. I got some mangoes in the in, in my kitchen now. Waiting for them to soften up, get ripe. Hopefully they're sweet. This smells like it would be a good, juicy tangy sweet mango they really got the scent of a mango in this one and it's bright now that it's calming down it smells like it might be some kind of spice in here oh i like this i know i'm gonna have fun layering this with the few tropical fragrances that i have even though they're pineapple and passion fruit, that's okay. 
We're going to make it all tropical. This is Sunny Mango Saltwater Woods Coral Blooms. This is good. Okay, the hype is real. So I have the cream and the fragrance mist. I do have mango mai tai, I think it's called. Something like that. Um, mango tai? I don't know. It's something like that. I know I got it during Summer Sass last year. But from what I can remember, that one is a milder, softer scent. This one is fruitier. This one is fruitier, juicier, brighter. This is nice. I like this. But I guess that's if you like more of a scent that would um project more. The other one seems softer. Y'all, I really have to think of my words. Woo. Okay, one more. So they sent me everything in my box. I'm still waiting on two Victoria fragrance, Victoria Secret fragrance mists that they have not sent out to me yet. It seems like my packaging, my packages are coming slow. I have some perfumes I'm waiting for. Those seem like they're coming slow. Or maybe I'm just anxious. Could be a combination of both. <laughs> Okay, so I have the cream and the spray for the Cocoa Paradise. Let me spray it. Now this, for one, smells sweeter than the candle. So the candle and the fragrance mist do not smell alike to me. Because this is sweeter. This seems like it has um, a bit of a uh, powdery undertone. I'm getting some of the citrus. And I did hear a lot of people say that they want to... Um, Layer this with Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. Audi Soleil Blanc. I can't remember the name. But they said they want to layer it with that. And I can see that it will be nice to layer with because this has a little bit more um, sweetness in it. And I can see maybe it will just brighten that fragrance up just a little bit. And make it a little even more pretty. Because that's more of a dry fragrance to me. Okay, so this is salted coconut manoy. Oh, I said it already. Sugar neroli and bronze sandalwood. So we already know the notes. Okay, so I'm happy with my choices. One of the ones I had thought about ordering was jungle rain rain jungle or something like that then i was like mm, i'm imagining it's gonna be like a watery freshy type scent and i mean those are nice but when i was ordering that's not what i wanted <laughs> so i didn't get that one but i have three sets and three candles and so that's it i paid around I want to say 80 something dollars but that could be with the shipping i can't remember and they did not put a receipt in my bag i mean in my box so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this short bath and body works haul that took forever to come but it is here now and i will well i know i will at least wear them once to just see how they smell and then um, get back to that I have going on over here. But you guys know I don't mind um, not doing my project, use it up if I want to try other things. So 
I am focused on my project, use it up, but I will try my new things and my new perfumes because I got to test those out. I get, I have a real nice one that is already here that I have to really test out. I'm excited about that one. I'm dipping my toes a little bit into niche brands, but not too much. I still like, I like my designers. And I've been, okay, I'm on a little chant. If you don't want to hear this part, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. But I'm going to tell you that I've been to a couple of Neiman Marcus. So I was able to try out some niche brands that they have in stores. Um, my Neiman Marcus isn't as good as I thought it was. The one in Vegas is, they're on point. They have a lot more variety than the one here. But I was able to check out some niche brands and smell them in person. Um, a lot of them started to go together. A lot of them were not as beautiful and different as I thought they were going to be. I should say not as, they're beautiful. A lot of them wasn't, wasn't as different. It wasn't like, oh my God, I've never smelled anything like this before. A lot of them wasn't giving me that. And that's what I was expecting. That's what I wanted. I wanted to be like, I have to have this. There were some that I felt like, okay, I think I want this. But it wasn't many that gave me the thrills and the feels. It was just like, I can continue blind buying just like I've been doing. If I catch it for a nice price, then I'll do that. The only one that I can say off top that was like, ooh, I want this one, was Haley by Tenziani Terenzi. I really, really like that one. But other than that, they were nice. And some of them had a little, some, oh, let me stop. The one brand that got some, some different scents is Amouage. Amouage scents are different. They came across a lot different to me. All those bond number fives, ooh, number five, bond number nines, they were just okay. Okay, so yeah, I just say I dip my finger, my toes and my fingers into the niche brands. Some of them I really like in in and I'm intrigued with, and some of them are just okay. Some of them I want, but I only at a decent price. I can't see myself paying full price for too many of them. So we're going to see. Thanks for watching. I appreciate everybody. Um, please like, share, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed, especially for the people that watch me often. Please make sure that you're subscribed and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.